Hey, I'm here at the Follow 12 Youth Convention. I am here with Travis Ward, who's the youth pastor at United Wesleyan Church in Charlotte, North Carolina. He brought a great group with him, and I'm just going to find out who these guys are, and we're going to find out what they've loved about this convention. So just tell me your name. I'm Charles Goforth. All right, what about you? Joshua Vincent. And what grade are you in? I oh, am a, in I'm a sophomore in college. All right, and what about you? Gentry Reef, Gentry Reef, 12th grade. And here, well, tell us who you are. I'm Lucas Hicks. And uh, I'm also in college. Awesome, awesome. Now, guys, I want you to tell me your favorite thing about the convention. Oh, I reckon my Brian Wilson just come from him yeah. about being in the corn and yeah. how the Lord transferred him to uh, Christian faith. Yeah, that's pretty cool stuff. What about you? The favorite part's got to be the fellowship, being able to come with your youth group, fellowship with them, and then also meet other people that are on fire for Christ. Yeah, yeah. What about you? What's been your favorite thing? A dude paid for a buck for me. A guy bought a book for you. Yeah. What book was it? I actually got it on me. All right. This back carries everything. Sweet. Somebody did something nice. That's awesome. Yeah. A weight. A dude bought it for me. Awesome. By Joel Clark, who's been one of our breakout session speakers. All right. So what's been your favorite thing? I actually really enjoyed the uh, breakout sessions, especially Joel Clark. They talked about uh, um, missions and, and, and different things about that and the, uh, the, the horrors that can happen in other parts of the world. And it's just uh, it's, uh, crazy to think that you know, we have this pampered life here, but there are just other things happening over in the world that you know, we need to attend to as Christians. Um, we'll go back to Travis. Um, Travis, this is your first convention with, with the United Group. How has this convention... Uh, affected your youth group? What changes have you seen happening in their lives here? I think the main change that uh, I've been able to witness is the fact that you start seeing walls start crumbling down. Uh, we start seeing uh, building up trust factors between myself and the youth, myself and the sponsors and the adults, uh, starting to build those relationships. Uh, uh, I've been able to allow them freedom and they haven't abused it and so when you give them some they give it back to you and you build up that trust. Uh, our, we're hoping to use it as a springboard as we enter into 2013 uh, to build upon what we take from here and take the big M, the momentum, headed into the new year, uh, trying to launch different things within our youth group and grow in closer but then expand outwards is uh, what we're shooting for. But uh, the main thing is just being able to see uh, one's worship that you never would think would worship, one's uh, uh, accept and make decisions you didn't think would make decisions, and one's being able to come and speak to you that haven't, maybe haven't spoken to you uh, pr previously just because of uh, not really knowing each other. So it brings us closer together, which is what I've been aiming for to try to get to a point that I know we can get to. It's the best gig in the world, isn't it, being here at this? Uh, I love being here, uh, uh, bringing a new group, um, uh, being able to interact with them, being able to think outside the box with some of the things that we do and right. say and ways that we act, cutting up. Uh, it's not all uh, coat and tie, maybe yeah. like church is, so you can do some extra things. And, you know, they can see that, hey, he, he's just a, a big kid in a 37-year-old body. <laughs> uh, and so that's uh, what I'd like to express to them, too, is, number one, I might be your leader, but number two, I'm right there with you, beside you. And that's my main thing, too, is uh, just to make sure that they understand that uh, don't put me on a pedestal, I'm walking with you type deal. So. Awesome. Well, thank you guys. We're so glad you're here again. It's Travis Ward and the group from United Wesleyan in Charlotte, North Carolina. And uh, again, one of the I great groups. All right. And that's <laughs> The Rock says. <laughs> if you smell what Travis is cooking. See you guys later. Did you really smell it, brother? Did you really? <laughs>